hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's stash dive tuesday and oh my goodness this week is the true essence of this series onesies i don't even think there is a twosie on here i think these are all onesies these are all totally random i was sort of just looking around grabbed a few pieces here and there so let's move this over and i'll show you where i started so i was just looking at my paper tower and i saw this lovely paper from stampin up sticking out a little bit and you know how i love my teals and you know how i love this color so i grabbed that piece of paper and i said okay i need to get this as a background the pattern is small enough i would maybe like it a little tighter but small enough to be a fun and very usable background so grab that and then i said okay where do i go from here and then just the sort of um rung above on the paper tower there was this paper staring at me which is more distressed but it's also a stampin up these are definitely not the same collection i could not tell you which collection either one of them come from nor how long i've had them in my stash but i saw this paper which then gives all sorts of options because it's a multicolor, it's hexagons you know how i love hexagons so i thought oh and it's got in a lighter shade but it's got that same sort of teal in there so i grabbed that and i said so my thought process here is i will cut out a strip of this but i will follow the hexagon pattern to do that and i have two ways that i'm thinking of doing it i might actually do it as a little bit more, I think it'll be in between a one third, two third, and a half and half. I don't want it to be quite half and half, but I do want it to be a little bit more than one third with this layer. And I might do it vertically or horizontally. And if I do it horizontally, rather than my general doing it at the top, I think I'm gonna do it at the bottom. So I have three photos here that I think I will do and which photo I choose will help me make the decision of whether I go vertical or horizontal. So these are all, there are three photos from Prague. This one is very, very dark. So we'll have to see. I might actually scan it, take a photo of this and try and do a little bit of editing, but it's one view of the Prague Parliament building. I have this, which I like, which is a very sort of, dusty there's a little bit of a pink tinge and i think it matches this paper beautifully it's uh part of the old palace the saint vidis uh cathedral which i've already done a page but i like this view and then the prague opera house so i think for the time being i'm going to eliminate this one um i think i'm also going to eliminate this one and then I will choose between these two now if I use the portrait I think I will go with the vertical and if I use the landscape I will go with the horizontal and I would tuck I would like to layer and tuck the photo in so that's where we're going with that now then I just started looking around and I was a subscriber for a very long time to the gorgeous and fun Scrapbook and Cards Today samplers. And I have tons of those gorgeous little plastic bags staring at me. And I grabbed three or four and just willy nilly took bits out of them. So these are all onesies. I have three six by six papers, um, not quite sure what collections they come from. Um, I believe these two were in the same sampler, so this would be a twosie, but I love the colors. And I think here I might just take a strip of that. It could be just fun with like, hey, hello, which makes me want to use the old palace photo. This sort of lovely corally 
uh, color as well. And then uh, yellow, which was in another sampler. This fun layered sticker popped out of one of the bags. It matches perfectly. The smile was an acrylic title piece in one of the bags as well. I Now, I have it here, but in a way, I'm not really sure that it fits with any of these photos. We'll see. If not, I'll go in and maybe get a perspective. This one layer of enamel dots that fits perfectly, a onesie. Now, this, I'm, I, I'm not quite sure. This may be a twosie. I may have taken them out of the same bag. Evidently, this is Paige Evans. Um, I've had the paper pad, I believe, to this collection. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but this, and then these stickers are definitely Paige Evans as well, and they are transparent, so we'll have to see how I go with that. So this may be a twosie. That. I had this just lying on my desk, which I think might help me tie in these two papers. And then two little tiny arrows that were in the bottom of one of the bags. So that is definitely the true, oh my goodness me, the true spirit. Let me get that out of the way. True spirit of Stash Dive Tuesday onesies and Tuesday. So let me go off. I think we're going to choose this photo. Um, I'm going to do my one third, two thirds, but a little bit more than that on the bottom. Try and maybe tuck this in, put my photo on the side. So let me go off and get started and I'll be back in a second, my friends. Okay, my friends. So off camera, I just cut my hexagon paper the way um, I said I wanted to do. I've gone not quite half and half design, a little bit more than one third, two thirds, at least at some areas. And I got this down at the bottom because I did choose the landscape photo. So I matted my photo in this sort of peachy corally paper. Uh, then I used a little bit of the B side of this paper, the one that had the portion of it that had a little bit of the distressed um, tealy color mixed in with the yellow, uh, the B side of the coral paper, and then this hello, 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 just to get just sort of some, you know, willy nilly offset layers because my first thought was I was going to sort of maybe tuck it in something like this or the other way sort of like this maybe with this sort of underneath here like that but then I find this is a very big empty space so you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do it like it was popping out sort of of an envelope. Now you see if I put it up maybe here like the way I sort of want it, I have this area down here. But let's just see because what if I put this and sort of fish tailed it? Mm, I'm not sure. I, we might have to just tuck it in a little bit more. Let's see the idea I have here to sort of do. Yeah, see, that doesn't really look right, does it, with the letters part of the words taken out. Let's see if I sort of put that there. Hmm. It looks weird, doesn't it? It sort of doesn't finish at the right spot. It would have to sort of go there. Don't think I really like it much there. So let's, and let's not. And then the other thing I'm wondering is, do I need one more sort of mat up here, sort of like that? Oh, I might like that. And then, okay, so I think I'm going to, 
maybe let's go something like that. Let's pop this down here. Put that there. And then you see we could put one of these lovely big flares here, maybe. Or this. There. Or maybe the yellow one. Not the yellow, but I kind of like, I don't know, All right. so <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure, my friend. So then I think what I'm going to do is leave this here, but then I'm probably going to pop this up here. Should we do something like that? I think, yeah, let's do something like that. I think I'm going to put something like that there. So then do I really need this extra? I don't. I don't really need that extra. Okay, so now it's starting to look a little bit better. And I think I could maybe just, I want the, I went into my stash and I got this lovely perspective piece, Explore. And I want here uh, the old palace. So I'm thinking we would put sort of down here. These are these, these are from Pink Fresh Studio. So, oh yeah. See now if I did, I think I do like that. There, something like this for Explore and then Old Palace down here. Yeah. All right, so this is starting, this is starting to take shape now. So we're going to put Old Palace here. I don't know, I'll have to go off screen and sort of get that. So this is definitely where we're going. Now, do I want this here? It The, the sort of little roughly thing, I'm really not so sure. Well, maybe not so bad or would I put it here no no I definitely will not put it up there if I do pop it here or maybe here I think I might like it more here something like that with an old palace and then I want to get some lovely dotty about flare bits in here I think we need to get something I have, don't forget these two arrows, you see, which I might pop right in here. What do you think? We would have another arrow. Yeah, there you go. See, I kind of like that. There we go. Yeah, I do kind of like that in there. bring them in a little bit more. I definitely want some flair. And I've got quite a few colors here that I think would work. And this might be fun because it sort of brings in all the colors. Might sort of pop it here. Now, see, now that I have the colors up there, I'm not so sure that I need it. All right. Let me go off and get a little bit more done, my friends, and I will be back. So there we go, my friends, and this one is in the books, and I like it. I like it in the end. So I did get the title down. I used this gorgeous Explore piece, and I brought it down a little bit because I wanted to get this piece here, of course, but I needed something to go with it. So I just tucked this lovely Dotty About Flare Flarelicious piece under here that brought my Explore down. And I went into my stash and got the my gorgeous Happy Life, the little Happy Life uh, Alphas, so that I could add the oil because the old, because this is actually the old Royal Palace and Explore the Palace just wasn't really enough. So, explore the old royal palace. And then out of the corner of my eye, I saw in one of my little bowls these fun wood buttons. And I think they're from, I think they're from a Coco Vanilla collection. And I thought they would be a perfect 
um, different size, I guess, to go along with my flare. You know I like my different sizes, textures, and dimensions. So I got some of those wood buttons out, the fun uh, enamel dots. So I had that one strip. They are all on here. Uh, we move these little arrows around and around and around, and this is where they wound up. And then I felt I needed just a little bit more, so I went back to my old and trusty button bowl, and I got some buttons on here as well. So, stash dive for sure. So there you go, my friends. I am happy this with this one. And this is a true and real stash dive with the exception maybe of my gorgeous Dottie about Flare Flarelicious pieces, which need to be on pretty much every layout. My perspectives, which are newer as well as these alphas, but everything else on here, I wouldn't be able to tell you how long I've had them. And they are definitely just little onesies and twosies and randoms, random bits. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you pop on down below to follow along with everybody who is playing today. Adam and Rebecca, of course, since it is their brainchild. Um, I try and get one in every week. I've missed a couple here and there, but I'm on a good roll. And we always have, um, Kim, I think, has been there every every week. And Scrappy Kathy is there. Anna once in a while. And I should never start these things because I always forget somebody. Anyway, my friends, let me stop rambling. I will be back to see you here very soon. See you soon, my friends. Bye for now.